Hey there guys, hope you guys are all doing great today. So I just want to make this really important video because quite often what happens with me is I think about all these, these great things to talk about and all these epiphanies come to me and I might be cycling or doing something but then what, what ends up happening is I forget these things and it gets put on the back burner and I end up not even speaking about it. So I've, I've written this down, my message here and I want to give it to you guys, I'm going to read it out, right? Because this applies to people who have taken my program and so actually anyone, any trader who's watching this video, this is a major problem that I see. Okay, and I just want to talk about this quickly. So the, the importance of your account size. So most of you guys, a lot of you are failing at this game because your account is just too small. What ends up happening is you make small profits which leave you in unsatisfied. So you go back in the markets, you do stupid things, you over trade, you try and make more profit, you end up unsatisfied with the small profits that you make and then you blow your account or you do something stupid. You then blame the strategy or your system and this becomes an endless hamster wheel. If you look at my account size, so if you've seen the account size that I trade, okay, it's always a minimum of 50 to 60k. This allows me to trade with small percentage risk, like 1 or 2% per trade as I've shown you. But it still allows me to make satisfying profits. So it still allows me to make a grand or two grand per week. Okay, and this, this is what people need roughly to quit their jobs and have that financial freedom and that, that money freedom. But I'm only able to do this because my account is big enough and I understand percentage risk. I understand that if I risk half a percent or one percent, I'm going to make good money still. Okay, so I'm using the account to make money. I'm not necessarily looking to grow the account. I do put profits back into it, but remember, guys, it takes money to make money. You're never going to make money in this game if you're trading with a hundred dollar account or a five thousand dollar account or even a twenty thousand dollar account. You need, in my opinion, a minimum of fifty to sixty grand in an account. And you need to understand percentage risk. That's why I emphasize so much on percentage risk and using those calculators. So I suggest you open a small account and get used to those things. Understand percentage risk. If you can take five hundred dollars to to five fifty in a month, why can't you take a fifty thousand dollar account to fifty five thousand? And that five thousand dollars is your profit. You don't have to work. You can just live off those profits take one or two as you can as you guys have seen i only take one or two trades per week i make my profits and that's it that allows me to have the the money freedom and it also allows me to have the time freedom okay so what i'm saying here is stop looking at your strategy because it's not your strategy a lot of you who have taken my program still blame strategy still blame systems it's not the system Start understanding that this is a numbers game. Strategy is only a small part of it. Okay, You can trade a moving average crossover strategy and make good profits each week or each month if you understand how important account size is and percentage risk. So it's not your system is important. There are better strategies than other strategies. But you really, really have to understand percentage risk, percentage gains and trading with a, a, a larger account. Before you just dump in 50 or 60k in an account, build up the confidence, build up your system, build up knowing how to use percentage risk on a small account with $100 or $500. Then all you need to do is once you've built up enough capital to trade a bigger account, then you put it in and you, you already understand how all these percentages work. That's why account funding and all these things are a good option. Are good options for you. I'm lucky enough to had to have had the savings, and I've understood the numbers. So I, that's why I put in personal capital. Personal capital, to me, in my opinion, is always best. You don't want to have too much in a brokerage account in case you do something stupid or the brokerage runs away. So you don't want to have crazy money in there like 100k or 200k because a lot of brokers, unregulated brokers and stuff, shut down. That's why I trade with a fully regulated broker and I suggest you do as well do your research on brokers but just understand that that money can these brokers can close down and be gone that's why i only personally and are comfortable trading with 50 to 100 dollar to 100,000 in an account it's normally 50 or 60k that i trade with 
So I really hope this video helped guys. I hope it allowed you to think more and understand about the numbers and how this game actually works and gives you another outlook on, on how trading works and propels you in the next uh, direction to success by understanding this simple concept. Catch you in the next one guys. If you're interested in me helping you trade, uh, click on the links down below and I'll gladly assist you. You can learn what I, I know, my exact systems and how I trade, how I think. We can go back and forth and I will help you as well on Telegram. Catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.